And there's a word coming in from uh, singer Lucky Ali. He says that pro his property is being grabbed by land mafia. The singer has once again alleged that the property he owns in Bengaluru has been encroached upon illegally by the land mafia. He's also alleged that the encroacher is being aided by his relative IS officer, Rohini Sindhuri. Uh, that's the word really coming in. The singer has come out and said that uh, there are various charges of land grabbing. This is a land that allegedly belongs to him, but there are certain officers who due to personal vendetta are in hand in gloves with the encroachers. He's tried to make various complaints but has not been able to resolve the issue. Let's see if there is any kind of resolution that comes from the administration. Harish, my colleague, is with us on the broadcast. Harish, tell us more about uh, the allegations made by Lucky Ali and is he likely to get any kind of resolution by the administration? Well, Lucky Ali says this is an ongoing uh, civil dispute over the ownership of this land. He says this land was purchased by his father and uh, later on after his demise, it's been transferred to three, uh, three different trusts. And uh, now uh, you have one Mr. Uh, Madhu Reddy who's claiming ownership of it. This case is currently on in the civil court in Bengaluru. He says despite the fact that that case is likely to come up for a final hearing this week, uh, you have Mr. Reddy trying to take control of his farmland near Yalanka on the New Airport Road. And he says this is against the law. This is against uh, the fact that there's an injunction order as well and the case is in the court. And he also is saying that the police are uh, aiding this uh, person. And he says the fact that her, his relative is a senior IS officer in Karnataka and that office is being used to pressurize the local administration to not intervene and ensure the orders of the court are uh, implemented here. Now, two aspects. The uh, Home Minister has said the complaint of uh, Lucky Ali will be looked into if there has been a lapse from the administration in ensuring the court order is implemented. Second, uh, perhaps there's unlikely to be any sort of a resolution to this long-pending dispute unless the court decides on the matter. Uh, yeah. Remember... The, the primary dispute started in 2002, in fact, and yeah. has been drag, dragging on for the last two decades. I'm going to just reiterate the details that uh, Harish Upadhyay has just shared with us that the Karnataka Home Minister uh, has made a statement on this entire matter. I'm quoting, he said that I saw it in media that the police are not cooperating. Even if the complaint is filed, I'll get a report on this. I'll speak to the DG about where and in which station they went to file the complaint and for what reason uh, they refused to take a complaint. I'll get all the information. So there's a response that has come in from the Home Minister. Let's listen. I in media, I police DJ or Jitik Matartinan, Yelli, Yav Station or Complaint Kodli Kogidru, Yav Karnaka in Irakar Sudru, Nana Mahiti Tondu Tambirti. Well, we'll talk about that story and much more here on CNN.